Welcome to another exciting edition of The Hidden Truth. Um, priest Taha Wam Mayam. With me today is Priest Kazakia. Shalom, Israel. And also we have Priest and Reader uh, Arya Ama One. Shalom. All right. Uh, we're, uh, we, we teach classes Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Monday and Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m., as you see on the sign, uh, over at 8524 South Brazewood Boulevard. We encourage all of you that are in Houston, in the Houston area, to come and join us in class, uh, not to just watch us on the show. It's much better to, to where you'd be able to get your questions answered and everything like that. Um, we're moved over to Tuesday from Saturday. So if you're used to seeing us on Saturday, you're going to be joining us on Tuesdays now on Houston Media Source, Channel 17 Local, Channel 95 Comcast. Uh, tonight's topic that we're going to be go going over. Uh, what, what topic are we going to be going over? We're going to be touching uh, about health. You know, there was a situation where that, uh, that uh, character, uh, Polite, the, the Egypt guy, the Egyptologist guy. Right, right. He made a statement that the Israelites basically don't give a damn about their health because they're waiting for a savior to save them. <laughs> so I guess he got this idea that uh, health-wise, you don't have to really worry about your body, or your health, because, you know, Christ, uh, Christ is going to come back and save you and you could just do anything to yourself. I don't know. You know, it's rest. You, you know how <laughs> these ideals come up because, first of all, you don't you're shooting holes in the Bible. Right. So you don't really believe in the Bible. So you don't even go in the Bible to uh, to get the true understanding. It's sort of like the religion thing. You know, uh, you know, these people don't even really know that Christmas is not in the Bible. Right, because right. they haven't took the time themselves to read it. So uh, we're going to touch on that. Just showing that, first of all, according to the scriptures, yes, the Most High ordered us. He ordered us to take care of our body. And all through the scriptures gave us wisdom, what to eat, how to, how to keep ourselves healthy, and uh, keep our mind, spirit, and body healthy in the spirit of Christ. Right, right, okay. Right. So what what, uh, what scriptures will we be going over, uh, what are we going to be going over to first? Yeah, first we got to do our disclaimer scripture because a lot of people, you know, uh, are going to, I don't want nobody to misunderstand us as we go over the scriptures about meat and about the things that are, are defiled, right? We right. don't want them to think that we're telling them they can't eat it. Right. Okay. Give me, give me, that's when you give me the frontal right here. You brothers and sisters, according to the scriptures, you know what is according to the law. And you are allowed to eat what is according to the law. So we're not saying that you, that you got to put away those things. But we, what we are going to do is go through the scriptures and get the wisdom on how we're supposed to now look at the foods. Right, right. And look at the, the things that we consume. And consider those things. Right. You know what I mean? That's the point of this topic. And to show uh, once again that, yes, the Bible <coughs> does speak about health. Right. The Bible. So give me the first scripture. The Bible does speak about health. We are supposed to take care of our spirit, mind, and body. Read that. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 16. Right. Let no man therefore judge you in meat. Right. And we're going to pull it first, you know, because uh, we would lack understanding and we would lack the true validity of the Bible if we wouldn't understand this also. Right, right. And the scripture is making it plain that uh, when it comes to meat, if you want to eat meat and I don't, I can't judge you and you eating, you eating meat, which is of the law. And that's for the, that's a shot at the Christians that think right, that means right. you can eat pork. <laughs> it don't mean that. It's telling you in the law, if you want to, if you want to eat, you know, lamb and beef or whatever things, if you want to have burgers, that's fine. You know, so our whole the point of this show is not to say, hey, brother, because you're eating the burgers that you're wicked or you're off. That's not the point. But you, you know what? I got to say this, though. Yeah. Even if you took it to the word foods like it normally means in the scriptures. Right. Pigs and certain things weren't considered foods by our people. We got to understand. The swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. The swine shall ye not eat. He is unclean to you. Very good point. Uh, at, our garbage the disposal, yeah, the right. Aspect, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Our garbage disposal is not considered a food. Pigs weren't considered a food. Clams, shellfish, and all that stuff wasn't considered food back then. Right, So absolutely. if it was saying, don't let them judge you in your meats, it's the foods you actually eat. Right. You know what I mean? Not not <laughs> just meat itself. Absolutely. Right, v right. Very good point. Very good point. Uh, you know, you know, we have to go over this scripture just because you get a lot of simple-minded people that uh, they'll go through the whole hour show and then realize 
Oh, are they saying I can't eat meat? That's what we're not saying. So right, let's right. get that out in the open. Go ahead. Read it again. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 16. Uh-huh. Let no man therefore judge you in, in meat or in drink. Go ahead. Or in respect of a holy day. Right. Or of a new moon. Right. So the, the scripture's making it plain. We're not supposed to, uh, I'm not supposed to judge you or condemn you because you want to eat me and I want, I don't want to, right. you know what I mean? I want to refrain myself from certain things and, uh, you don't, uh, the other brother doesn't want to, uh, that's not what we're saying. What we're trying to give according to the scriptures is a spiritual outlook on all these foods that are killing us, <laughs> killing our people that are killing your brain cells, killing your children, right. and that are, are breaking our bodies down. That way we can't function in the spirit more. Right, right. because we are health conscious, uh, unlike what certain unlearned, uneducated, and ignorant people are gonna say. Right. We do have a conscious toward brothers and sisters' health. Yeah, Right. and that that's the point of the show right there. Right. We do have that conscience. Right towards our health and, and we supposed to right because a lot of people think oh it don't matter you know uh, on the other pendulum a lot of our people think you know what i mean long as i eat it in the law i can just eat and, and i can be overweight i can be other healthy that's not the scriptures don't teach that either right right you know and so we got to be aware of this first corinthians 6 verse 12 you know and uh you know there's a lot of information out there once again pertaining on this topic about health, but nobody's really going through the scriptures and showing how much about consuming, how much we supposed to consume to deal in moderation and to, uh, to, uh, to look at what we're eating and realize right. that you're not even eating meat anymore. So let's get real with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not eating the real meat. Like when the scriptures say even uh, judging you and your meat and your drink, that was real meat. That's like what we do for the Passover. We, you know, we, we get the we get the lambs fresh. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? So we got to have understanding also. So read this 1 Corinthians 6, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. All things are lawful unto me. Right. But all things are not expedient. And this is what the scripture tells us. In every aspect, in every perspective of the Bible, it teaches us that the Most High has given us these certain things in life, right? Right, but all things are lawful. You know, I know I can eat, I can eat the the cow. You know right. what I mean? I can eat me a loaf of bread. You know what I mean? I can go ahead and drink me like three pounds of soda, right? right? You you can do all that. You know what I mean? But did you see that the outcome of that mentality was going to give you um, uh, high uh, diabetes, right? Right. High blood pressure. Right? right. That it was going to give you uh, it was going to increase the the illnesses that you do have. You know, a lot of brothers and sisters have certain illnesses. You know, they they uh, they're diabetic or they're overweight or, you know, they might have diseases right. and they want to know why they can't beat it. Why? Because you're drinking a pound of soda. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's let's establish it again. Read it one more time. All things are lawful. So it is lawful. Paul is telling us, yeah, all things are lawful. Yeah, you can go ahead, feel free to eat your meat, eat your Burger King, your Jack in the Crack, your, uh, what, what is the other one? The, Whataburger. Your Whataburger. Uh, f feel free to eat your... Uh, <laughs> Carl's Jr. Your Carl's Jr. Feel free to eat that. But is it expedient? Right. Is this going to have you functioning? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I was talking to my own son, you know what I mean? Uh, the one that lives in New York. Uh, you know, one time he came out here to Houston, and he was... Is like I haven't took I haven't used the bathroom in a week because all he was do is go to McDonald's and eat McDonald's like all things are lawful, but not expedient. So, all right. you, you know, <laughs> this is the point we're trying to show brothers and sisters about, you know, the things that we want to get across in this show is that restraint, moderation. Right. Right. Showing that the Bible shows us how to control ourselves right it doesn't teach us to just be wild beastly brother i can eat it it's in the law you're right but it's killing you right right Right. you're overweight you have high blood pressure you have you know what i mean you uh you have this ailment or that ailment mm. right God. how are you going to beat that if you don't control yourself and understand what the scriptures teach us so read it from the top one more time First Corinthians chapter six and twelve. Mm -hmm. All things are lawful unto me. Right. But 
all things are not expedient. Right. All things are lawful for me. Right. But I will not be brought under the power of any. And this is the point. You see this? Right, right. That our people has been given to the power of the burger. Right. It controls them. There it is. It's like uh, a brother was talking to me about a while back, but if you, uh, you know, you could fill up on a whole pizza. Right. And be driving down the street and smell that McDonald's fries and get hungry. Right. And your, your stomach is full, but your brain is telling you go get some fries. Right, right. What, what are they putting in that food? Drugs, alcohol, and now food. A new study suggests people can actually be addicted to eating. Scientists use brain scans to observe people after they ate. They found carbohydrates in processed foods like white bread can actually cause excess hunger. Scientists say especially high glycemic carbohydrates found in bread, pasta, and more can stimulate the brain's pleasure, reward, and addiction senses. In the new study, a group of 11 overweight but healthy men were each given different milkshakes, one with high glycemic carbs and one with low glycemic carbs. Researchers say the participants who had the rapidly digested high glycemic carbs were hungrier and craving food more than the slower digestible low glycemic carb milkshake drink. It, 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 this is, <laughs> dude, listen, hold that. Go to Job 13 and 4. Let me just throw this one in here. And this is what we have to realize that uh, when you deal with the wicked, when you deal with this society, right. let's get it right. You are not eating real food. <laughs> That's why it's called processed. These processed foods, majority of them are made in a lab when it comes to your sugars, your breads, your cookies. When it comes to, I mean, brothers and sisters, do your research. This is not rocket science. You know what I mean? This is not something new that we're spitting. But what we are doing, which is new, is going to the Bible to find out, well, do I have any restraints on me? Right. You know right. what I mean? Do I have, is the Bible telling me to, to uh, restrain and refrain and control and have discipline? And that's what the Bible teaches us in all perspectives and all aspects of life. Hmm. You, know, uh, you know, when it even comes to drinking wine, it tells you drink in moderation. You know what I mean? So yeah. Paul... He said it so beautifully, didn't he? He said all yeah. things are lawful but not expedient. Right, right. Hey, you, yes, you have the right to do that. As an American, as, a, as an Israelite, you have the right to eat the lawful things, but should you? Right, right. You know what I mean? What are you giving your kids? You want to know why they're, they're, uh, cold, they're, they're backed up. They can't use the bathroom because you're feeding them all this cheese. Right, right. You know what I mean? All this processed meat all this f uh, fake food, mm. right? So when they get older, you start to see they're just like you. You know what I mean? So it's, it's discipline. Re read that real quick, Job 13 and 4 real quick, and then we'll jump back to Paul one more time. Go ahead. Job chapter four, 13 and verse 4. Uh-huh. But ye are forgers of lies. Right. Ye are all physicians of no value. And you know what Job was pointing out? He was speaking of the wicked. He was speaking of them forging lies. Listen. What we've been taught about the foods is a lie, you know, and fortunately, all we have to do is be able to read right, right. <laughs> and go read the back of your packages and see how all these foods, you don't got to take our word for it. All mm. these foods got every type of chemical in them. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And we're not going to be going through all that because the point is the scriptures, but we're going to, we are going to touch on a few things. Right, right. For all, for all those cats that like to say, oh, yeah, you guys are reading stuff out of the scriptures. Well, there's certain things that he didn't put in there, you right. know what I mean, but are still wisdom. Right. You know, that we still got to know that, okay, yeah, we we know cows and pigs and our, our pigs are not lawful, but cows are and these things like that. But what are they putting in those things? Now? There you go. You know what I mean? So the first one, uh, the chemical facts? Or yeah, you can do that meats? one. Go ahead and I'm touch sorry. on that one. The meat. Yeah, the let's go on the meat one. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's do the chemical one because we're going to go into the meat down the road. Okay, all right. All right, so we got, uh, should you be worried about propylene glycol? This is an excerpt from the, from the Internet. It says, uh, propylene glycol is an ingredient found in many personal care products, including shampoos, hair conditioners, and leave-in styling products. Right, and this is what we were talking about. This, right. is, this is in hair products, mm -hmm. but little did you know this was in your food. Right, yeah. You know, one th it's one thing to have it in your hair products. <laughs> it's another thing because that's still bad for you, too. 
Right. You're talking about all these things that seeps in your pores, that seeps in your skin. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yes, brothers and sisters, uh, as much as you can, you know, because let's get it right, though. Let You know, let's put this out here. It, you, you know, even trying to eat healthy. You know, you uh, you know, I go do the juicing stuff and I go get the beets and the the, uh, the the kale and all these things. And but you see all the chemicals they spray on it. Right. right. So you wash it as much as you can. So, you know, we're not going to be perfect in it. But at the same time, should we be stuffing McDonald's down your kid's throat, pizza down your kid's throat? Right. Want to know why they're big as hell? Want to what you, you want to know why that blacks and Hispanics and the minorities all through our communities there's Jack in the Box, McDonald's, right. fast food. Right. But you want to get the Whole Foods, you got to go across town. Right. You know what I mean? You got to go to Sugar Land. Yeah. Suburbs. You got to go to the suburbs because they're feeding them right. Yeah. And these things are concentrated and aimed at our people. You know, when we read Psalms 83, this is part of that conspiracy yeah. to keep Israel and no more in remembrance. They're yeah. trying to kill us off. You know, since they got us over here, it was a physical castration. Mm -hmm. You know, you watch that movie, Goodbye Uncle Tom, they castrating us straight off the boat. Right. Now it's a chemical castration. Now it's going in your foods. You're shoving all that, all them happy meals down your kids' throats, and they can't, they can't reproduce They now. can't function. Yeah, it shuts uh, them down. The, from the sugars. Yeah. And we're going to touch on that a little bit. They want to know why their kid is hyperactive because you drank a damn pound. You was drinking nothing but Mountain Dew or Pepsi or soda <laughs> when your kid was in the belly. And you want to know why he's coming out and he can't be controlled. And then what do they do on top of that? Let's give him more drugs. Right, right. And then now he's like a zombie. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, let's give him more drugs. Now, you know what? He can't be controlled. Let's label him. Right, right. Now, once again, he's a product of of their environment. He's a product of what they created you to be. Right. And it, you won't think, oh, this from soda? Wow, that's crazy. Hey, yes, from because it's not soda. It's the drugs. Right, it's right. not food, because real food gives you energy. Mm -hmm. Where does the word itis come from? Right. What does that mean? What is the definition of itis to the black man? <laughs> that means that when you eat food, you what? Get lazy. You get lazy. Yep. Food wasn't supposed to do that. Right, right. It's food was supposed to be... It's fuel. There you go. <laughs> right. Uh, you want me to keep you on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. It is widely used because of its relatively low cost and versatile nature. Mm -hmm. Its inclusion in a formula can fulfill a variety of purposes, which, may, which makes it a popular choice by the cosmetic chemist. Wow. However, some manufacturers have recently made the decision to no longer include propylene glycol in their products. My speculation is that this is possibly due to the misinformation and propaganda circulated on the Internet. Right. And elsewhere in the interest of marketing natural products. I am an avid supporter of being not of you. Right. And he, go, right. he goes down, you know, very. Th this is a good point. And I got that on purpose. I right, right. knew exactly what he was saying. And what it, what it was was there is misinformation. But the simple fact is this. They're physicians of no value. Why is this chemical in why am I putting chemicals that is against the natural way right. on my body? You see, and that's why it says, ye are physicians of no value. Hold that. I want you to go to Ecclesiastes 39 in the Apocrypha, the one uh, I just quoted um, earlier, uh, because this is the point here. And I, I knew what I was doing when I got this insert, you know, because he started to try to justify the chemicals. Right, right. Like, oh, yeah, the misinformation. Well, it's in there. <laughs> Go look at the back of your packages. Right. Go look at these things. Look at these images that we put up there. And there's chemicals that don't belong in your food. There's chemicals that don't belong in your body products, and, uh, w whether it be the fluoride or all the stuff they're putting in your water or in your toothpaste. All these things, it doesn't belong there. But it's there because the wicked... They can find some way w with their wicked mind, their corrupt mind, to destroy everything good. And this is Ecclesiastes 39. Where are you at? Verse 26. Go ahead. The principal thing for the whole use of man's life right. are water, right. fire, right. iron, and salt. Right. So, so these are the things necessary that we need, you know. All things are lawful. Right. This is what he's telling us. All things are lawful. Right. You know, water's lawful. <laughs> yeah. Salt is lawful, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But did you know that what salt is good for you? The difference between regular salt and sea salt. Table salt 
is mined from underground salt beds and then refined. Sea salt comes from the evaporation of seawater, and sea salts contain trace amounts of minerals that are stripped from table salt during the refining process. Uh, flour of wheat. Right, so flour's good. See, but what we're gonna find out when we go into the flour that what the chemicals they put in the flour today, okay. right? You're thinking bread is good. Mm. You're like, what's wrong with a good piece of bread, brother? Christ and the apostles, they spread the bread they and the fish, right? Bread. They broke bread, right? All right. But the chemicals they put in this stuff mm. is what is bad. Read. Honey. Read. Milk. Right, right. And milk is good, but we didn't drink milk of the cow. Right, right. You know what I mean? And at the same time, it, let's say if you did drink milk of the cow, do you not know what they're putting in that cow? And do you not know all the chemicals that they're mixing in the milk? Right. Oh, they have the they have the thing that uh, separates the uh, milk part from the, uh, you know, from the things they put in there and everything. And uh, there's a, a large concentrations of like, you know, you got pesticides in there. You got uh, the pus and the blood, oh, you know, because God. they hook the cows up to the machine. Right. And the machine don't know that the cow's empty. You know what I mean? The cow, it doesn't have a thing that says, hey, we've done, uh, you know, we're still squeezing the udders, but there's no milk coming out. Wow. Like a human would. So they just keep squeezing and squeezing until this cow is bleeding and chafed and irritated if they're not watching the process correctly. Wow. And so that blood and that pus, that goes right into your, your food. It goes right into your milk. See that? Wow, that's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, and then when you go to the, you know, we started to go on the, because uh, after you find out about the milk, Right. You go to the, um, uh, what was the other milk? Uh, soy milk. Soy milk. And right. then you find out soy is estrogen. Is estrogen. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're, you're making your the boys act like girls with the soy milk. Right, right. You know, and then we went to the almond milk. You know what I mean? So, yes, all these things definitely you need to keep an eye on. But at least have the consciousness and the wisdom to understand this. Right, right. Paul is saying all things are lawful, not expedient. You know, the Most High has given us these things to eat and to partake in, but a lot of things are inexpedient to take in. We shouldn't, we shouldn't um, partake in them because the chemicals. Right. You know what I mean? You want me to read that about the bread? Yeah, yeah uh, go ahead. Since, uh, yes, sir. brought that up, it says, uh, the truth about potassium bromate. Uh, in 2007, Chinese authorities pulled a batch of imported snack chips from store shelves because they believe the chips contain potassium bromate, mm -hmm. a food additive banned in China. Right, potassium bromate. Right. Right, it, look at that word up, brothers and sisters. Go yeah. ahead. And it says, the chip's country of origin, the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, potassium bromate is also illegal in the European Union, Canada, Brazil, and elsewhere because it causes cancer in rats and mice. But not in America, because America was set for the slaves. Uh, <laughs> America was set for where we can deal and uh, gen genetically modify and treat them like the rat in the maze. Right. And this is why America is hard on cancer. You know what cancer is? Cancer, th there's many cancers, but cancers that overgrown, uh, uh, overgrown uh, cells in your body, right? Mm -hmm. Through what? All the bad stuff you put in your body. Right. Right. So they want to act like cancer is like this mystical thing. Like, where does cancer come from? Where where is this stuff coming from? It's coming from the stuff we put in our body. Right. Uh, right Go right. ahead. Uh, it says uh, I'm skipping down a little bit. It says, but potassium bromate is a powerful oxidizing oxidizing agent mm -hmm. that chemically ages flour much faster than open air. Potassium bromate bleaches dough. Right. So, brothers and sisters, right. the reason why your bread is white and it's not brown or black because the bread comes from the earth. Everything that comes from the earth is supposed to be dark, right? The reason why it's not dark is because they bleach it. Mm. You, that white bread is bad for brothers and sisters. It's bad for your body. You know what I mean? Get the darkest bread. I was telling the sister the other day, she needs to get that pumpernickel. And then, you, you, yes, you got to watch these things, but if anything, get the spelt. Make right. your own bread. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's telling you here, these chemicals they put in them. Go ahead. I'm right, um, jumping down again. Uh, in 1982, researchers in Japan published the first of a series of studies showing that potassium bromate causes cancer in the thyroids, kidneys, and other parts of, the, of, mats, of rats and mice. Well, what do you think? You're, you're, uh, you're eating. You're <laughs> eating. And, and right? Go ahead, though. No, what I was, you was going to say, um, the other thing they're not considering is if this stuff is killing rats and mice, Rats and mice, they eat anything. Right. They, they can eat damn near anything and not die. 
<laughs> right, but for right. some reason, they're getting cancer off of this. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. That's like saying, uh, oh, this one gives cockroaches cancer. If it gives a cockroach or a pig cancer, you got a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got a real problem because uh, the thing is, is these are unclean animals. They're meant to be garbage disposals. Right. And these these foods are killing garbage disposals. Right. You know what I mean? And the, the Bible teaches us, mm -hmm. the Most High teaches us that wisdom intelligence. Right. It don't teach us to be walking zombies. Everybody wants to talk about, brother, don't get the chip. Don't get the chip. Obviously, right? But right, what right. about the things you're not seeing? What about the what about the food they're putting in? You know, because we don't smoke weed and do crack. We don't do drugs. But little did you know, by you popping those Tylenols all the time, you're killing your liver. Right, right. Little did you know, you popping those aspirins all the time, you're killing your liver. Yeah. Right. And yes, you, yes. If you did it like one out of f every five years, that would be fine. Right, but right. no, nah, man, our people are popping those like right, you know I, mean? right. I got a headache. I got a headache. Yeah. You keep getting <laughs> headaches because you keep destroying your body. Right. 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 And then that's how Esau thinks. They're physicians of no value. Right. 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 Yeah. Uh, you got more. Yeah. yeah um, it says uh, as a result of these findings, countries around the world banned the additive. But the U.S. Food and Drug Administration held back in part because the amount of potassium bromate that remains in bread after baking should be negligible, less than 20 parts per billion. So what they're saying is yeah. uh, we allow a certain amount a certain in there, amount. that's okay. Now, what you don't know is your peanut butter, when they can't clean all the machines out and everything from the roaches that crawl in there, Ooh. when they don't decide to clean the machines thoroughly, they just want to shut down the factory and get everybody out off the clock. Wow. The roaches come in and they try to eat that peanut butter off of there. And in the morning, when they cut the machines back on, they don't make sure they go in there because they got to make production wow. for that day. So they cut the machines right back on, riding them roaches up. And the FDA also allows a certain amount of parts per billion of cockroaches in your peanut butter. They do it with your uh, with your meat. Wow. When the rats go in your meat in the processing plant. That's disgusting. Same I... thing. So this this is just as bad as what they do with those rats and those roaches. You, you know, you, and you know, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> somewhat health conscious you know right, right. tried to be but at the same time i guess like you go over this stuff again I, it just like oh, yeah. just reading it when i was going over it again i'm like wow you know you you really want to restrict yourself and w what the point is is this the point once again of this show is that first of all what the Bible teaches us. Could I read 1 Corinthians 6, 12, and then you got a little more? I wanted to just put, you know, just so they know what to look for. Okay, hold it. One, one more time. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 12. <clears throat> read it one more time. I just want to get the point to them. Go ahead. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. Uh -huh. All things are lawful unto me. See, right. bread is lawful. Right. Right? Bread <laughs> is lawful. Right. You right? Read. But all things are not expedient. <laughs> Cancer-causing additive has been found in certain snacks from the U.S. and Japan in tests carried out on the mainland. The products in question include the popular Pringle potato chips. The chemical potassium bromate is used to improve the quality of flour, but it's banned in food products in many countries and areas, including Hong Kong and the mainland. Yeah. Go ahead, though. Re go, go ahead, Taiwan. Uh, just so y'all know what to look for, it says, to avoid this additive, check ingredients list for potassium bromate and bromated flour. Because mm. sometimes they do that. They Oh, they're wise to the potassium bromate thing, so they change it, say, bromated flour. Right. Just like they'll do with pigs. They, you know, uh, you might get the gel, the little gel caps for your medicine or something, and you're thinking, okay, I, I got the vegan ones or something, right? Yeah. But then it says porcine brains. Well, that's another way of saying pork brains. You know what wow. I mean? Or bovine right. hearts. And that's another way of saying beef hearts right how hearts now let right. me add this one with it read on where you were at uh that's powerful i right, go ahead it says uh the principal things for the whole use of man's life right water fire iron and salt right flour of wheat honey milk and that's what we're talking about we're talking about the flour the flour as of now right right, right. flour of wheat right 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 not not genetically fi uh, uh ge genetically modified wheat no but right. real Real wheat, yeah, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Honey, milk, and the blood of the grape. Right, which is wine. Go ahead. And oil. Read. And clothing. Read. All these things are for good to the godly. Right. So, yes, brothers and sisters, it's okay to eat bread. Huh. Yes, it's okay to eat meat. Right. Yes, it's okay to eat these things and drink these things. Read. So, to the sinners, Read. they are turned into evil. But you have to remember the wicked has gotten a hold of all these things. And just for that mighty dollar, they make sure 
They, but they don't care about humanity. They don't care about your kids. They don't care about your grandma, but they don't care about none of that. They still put these chemicals in there. And, and like it says, the FDA approves a little small amount, but over 30 years. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. stuff cleans to your liver. <laughs> you know what I mean? To your uh, to your kidneys, kidneys man. Yeah. It, it has to go through there. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it builds up. Right. And, you know, they say, you know, a lot of people, they'll use the scripture. Oh, you be not over righteous, be not over wicked. You're cool. But your body is a temple. You know what I mean? And I, I think we're going to go yeah, there. But yeah. They, you got to you got to treat your body. This is the, what the most I gave you. You got to treat it with some respect. Yep. You know, you don't you don't put just any old any old crap in your car. You know what I mean? Like it's it's weird. Our people will sit there and make sure that they get the the right gas from the certain gas station. Right. But uh, you know, they'll, and they'll never ever think about putting sugar in the gas tank. Right. Or putting uh putting a uh, uh, water in there. But for their body. Right. They don't think like this. Right. Right. For their body, they oh everything's lawful. Right. Right. Uh, that doesn't work for your car. It don't work for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you got more on it? Oh uh, no, that oh, that's it on that. that? There's, there's a lot, you know. There's pages of this for uh, the potassium bromate and stuff. And basically, it said it. Why do they use it? Because it, it enables a lower cost of baking. Wow. You know, and uh, it says uh, it essentially causes the flour to bulk up quicker, strengthens the dough, and makes bread rise more rapidly. It, isn't that how these corporations do? They love cutting corners. Right. But by the cost of the people, right. the people have to suffer. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and people are awakening to this. People are understanding this. But what does the Bible tell you? Right. The Bible already warned us. He said that all these things are good to the godly, but to the sinner, they turn it into evil. They find some way to turn bread wicked. <laughs> yeah. Think about yeah. it. They find bread like you're like, damn, I can't even eat bread. You can eat bread, but go back to the spelt. Spell flour. Go back to try to try to go back to the healthy, natural things as much as you can. Right. And that's the point. We're hopefully trying to uh, c give people the consciousness that the Bible teaches. Right. Take care of your body. First Corinthians seven, verse twenty three, really quick, because this is the point. First Check this here. Go ahead. Chapter seven, and verse twenty three. Uh huh. You are bought with a price. Yeah. Read. But not ye, the servants. No. Read it one more time. You are bought with the price. Right. It says you are bought with the price. Right, right. We're not our own, brothers and sisters. We're not our own. We're bought with a price. So people would say, well, it's my body. I can do what I want. I can do what I feel. I was going to jump to it, but let's, let's add it right now. 1 Corinthians uh, 3, verse 16. Mm. A lot of people are saying that. Well, you know what? It's my body. The, the God gave me the body. I can do what <laughs> I want. No, the Most High gave you this body for a reason and a purpose. Right. So your little pride of your body, you're not your own. Right, right. Right? 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16. Know ye not that you're the temple of the Most High? Right. right. Read it one more time. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Go ahead. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Yeah. See, this is why we have our body. Right, right. So what's the point in 1 Corinthians 7, 23? You're not your own. Right. You know what I mean? This is not your body to say, you know, I can do crack, dope, pork, shrimp, crab. I don't care. You're going to die Sunday. You know what I mean? And, you know, usually those people, they die early. Yeah. Why? Because they don't care and they don't use the wisdom of the Bible. Right. right? Yep. But this temple we're supposed to hold, uphold. Well, how do we uphold this temple? You know, obviously the laws are already set forth. Right. You know, it already gave us the dietary laws how to take care of our bodies. Mm -hmm. You know, so for the ones that don't understand that, you're supposed to know, uh, you're supposed to come back to the basics of the law. As, as we understand the basics of the law, because this class is about more of moving on from the basics. Right. Like, this is for people that already know shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, oysters, caviar, that, that's defiled. Right. You know what I mean? That you don't supposed to eat those things and crawfish, you know what I mean? Uh, all, all those things is defiled, right? Right, right? This is about the brothers and sisters that have the knowledge and that are saying, you know what? No, uh, well, I'm eating the lawful things. Right. I'm still going to have fish fries every day, every every night. There I'm you still going to have uh, uh, barbecues every weekend. I'm still going to, you know what I mean? Like, and you 400 pounds. <laughs> right. You wonder why you can't walk upstairs. Right. You wonder why you got water in your knees. You got to get your knees pumped. Right. Why? Because how you eat. Yeah, we got to remember Eli, man. And in the Bible, he was a priest. 
he wasn't eating unlawful foods, but he was so fat, he fell over, broke his damn neck. That's true. You know God. what I mean? Because he, he was eat, him and his sons was eating all the best and the choice parts and <laughs> leave the fat on, don't, don't cook it. You know what I mean? Just right. give it to me raw. No, it was all lawful, but it was obviously expedient for right, him. Right, right. See that? Right. We got, we got to take lessons from these scriptures. Right, and and that's that's what uh, I'm trying to hit on in here. You know, those basic scriptures to remind us, control. Right. Control, right. man. Re finish this, and then we're going to go to the next scripture. Go ahead. Verse 17. Uh-huh. If any man defile the temple of God, mm -hmm. him shall God destroy. Right. For the temple of God is holy. Right. The t you're the temple of the Most High. Mm-hmm. So remember that, you know, when you go to uh, your schools, uh, your temples to learn, it's not trotting down and dirt everywhere and your books are all thrown everywhere and, you know, it's dookie on the walls, your toilets are all jacked up. It's clean. It's cleaned up. It's things are set in the right, right place. It's beautiful. And this is what the most I saying about your body. How could he dwell in you when your conscious, your mind your spirit is perverted through drugs and chemicals. Mm. Now, go to first, uh, go to Ecclesiastes 18, verse 30. And this is in the Apocrypha, brothers. Uh, and, and once again, what is the point? Take care of your body. Take care of yourself. You know, uh, moderation, restraint, uh, control. These are the things that the spirit, Christ, the Bible, the word teaches us. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. And verse 18, verse 30, 18 and verse 30, right? Go not after thy lust. And this is what this is all about. You know what I mean? Cause like, yes, you can order 50 pizzas in one day. <laughs> That's fine. All things are lawful, right? But you'll be out of your mind. You're not taking your, your, <laughs> you, you, you wonder why you can't take a crap because all that cheese <laughs> got your colon all backed up and you. And, and this is where now everything is sitting in your stomach. Mm -hmm. You can't defecate. Right. You know, some people who don't don't use the restroom for like three or four days. Right. Right. But that's wrong. Do you do you not know the most high created you for your body to process the food and to throw it out? Right. You know, supposed to, you're supposed to use the restroom. Yeah. I, you remember, know? I remember we were reading all those books about uh, uh, by Professor Arnold Eretz, like, uh -huh. you, know, you know, the about your intestines, your colon and stuff like that. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, one of them was that, you know, the average human being. You know, at the end of their life, will have 60 to 70 years worth of impacted feces in their body. Wow. And it's no cleansing. I'm just going to keep shoving it in. Wow. You know what I mean? I'm going to eat a whole camel strain at a gnat. I'm not going to let none of it out. Right, you know right. what I mean? And uh, that's, that's what their body is doing. It's turned into that where, you know, you're you're eating all this stuff and you only do it once that week. Right. You know, right. you're supposed to do it a half hour after you eat. After, right. after you eat, you're a half hour later, your body should have processed most of what you had before and subbed it out. And what, what I try to teach my younglings is that uh, is that it's fine when you're young. Right. You can go to me. Man, when I was young, come on now. Yeah. You know how when you drink when you were young, you just like you could drink a gallon of liquor and just ah oh, pass out <laughs> and throw up. Now go ahead and get older. Right. What you did is you destroyed your body. Right. Imagine this, brothers and sisters. Imagine if you from your children from their youth up fed and put the right things in their mind, their spirit, their body. As they got older, they wouldn't be dying at 70, 80. Right. Right. Yeah. They would be living. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, for a longer process of time and not only living as in a body. I'm uh, uh, people are living, but they're what you got Esau. Oh, Esau's the worst at it. They right. like taking a thousand pills just to, to breathe another day. <laughs> the same thing they're trying to live by is killing them. Right, right. You know what I mean? Uh, and you go look at their counter, you know, you see all the drugs up there, man. And uh, brothers and sisters, man, this society, their stupidity and their ignorance and arrogance, they will not humble to the word of Christ. Be wise. The scriptures is telling us control. All things are lawful but not expedient. Let that resonate in your mind. Go ahead. Go not after thy lust. Do what? Go not after thy lust. Right. This is not only speaking about sexual desires. This is speaking about desires of the flesh in all aspects. So, yes, you, you, you're like, you had a burger, but you want another burger. You had a pizza, but you want another pizza. You can't eat one pizza. You got to eat other pizzas. Why? Because the chemicals in the drugs, the, the drugs in the food, they, it's for some reason. 
You know, I myself, we're, we're not righteouser than thou. Trust me. We're not saying we're better than you. We're giving you the information, brothers and sisters, because we're men and we know how it works. When you hit that water burger, mm. you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> <laughs> right. When you hit that water burger, it's like, oh, my God. It's like one water burger ain't enough. Mm. You got to get two double doubles. Speak on it, brother. <laughs> I actually got a scripture just on that on that precept right there. Okay. It's uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 5. Uh-huh. It says, let your moderation be known to, unto all men. Right. And Khan, that's perfect. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Absolutely. And this is uh, this is what the Most High is telling us. Yeah, yes. Moderation. Absolutely. Because it says the Lord is at hand. Right. Restraint. Brothers and sisters don't have that restraint. They, they don't do things in moderation. They figure, oh, it's lawful, brother. You can't tell me not to eat it. And by all means, feel free. Knock yourself out. But I guarantee you, when you hit 40, you hit 50. Your right. body is going to be strained. Mm. You're going to be hurting. And you're not going to be able to do the work that you've been sent for. You know what I mean? Brothers and sisters, if you drink all the time, you, 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 you're, you're drinking and killing your liver. Uh, you're waking up to the wine. That's going to kill you. Moderation. You know what I mean? You have to learn moderation in everything. And this is what he's telling us here in Ecclesiastes 18 and 30. Read that. It says, but refrain thyself. Uh-huh. But what? But refrain thyself. Read. From thy appetite. Yeah, you got you to gotta refrain yourself from those appetites. You want to go in and, like I said, one time I went in the store and a brother had all the 90, the 99 cent Kroger, <laughs> Kroger soda. You know what I mean? It's like to make sure they give you just, I want nothing but gasoline and chemicals just to destroy me and my kids. Right, you got to think, like, why the hell? Are you getting a <laughs> two liter bottle, damn near a gallon of this drink for 99 cents. Right. But your water costs you $1.99 for uh, one liter or less. You right. know what I mean? For one liter or less of water, you're getting, you're paying $1.99. You're paying 99 cents for two liters, three liters. The chances are good that sugar is a bigger part of your daily diet than you may realize, which is why our story tonight is so important. New research coming out of some of America's most respected institutions is starting to find that sugar, the way many people are eating it today, is a toxin and could be a driving force behind some of this country's leading killers, including heart disease. As a result of these findings, an anti-sugar campaign has sprung up, led by Dr. Robert Lustig, a California endocrinologist, who believes the consumption of added sugars has plunged America into a public health crisis. People, man, they want to know why they can't walk around. Right. They want to know why they're sick, why they're angry all the time. Yeah. You're angry all the time because you're eating the damn mad cow. Right. Ooh, you know right. what I mean? <laughs> the mad cow is making you angry. The mad chicken is making you angry. Yeah, the red the number 40. It, yeah, the red number 40 is giving you mood swings. Yeah. You know what I mean? There you go. It's making the ki Your kids are going crazy. They they turn into little bastards and banshees because <laughs> you, you put you put <laughs> chemicals all you're in. You're right. No, you're yeah. right. You know you got the red, uh, the, the, the colors? The food coloring? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want you to read that after he finishes this. Go ahead. Uh, verse uh, 31. Read. If thou givest thy soul the desire. See, so is the Bible teaches us, does the Bible teach us go ahead and do what you like and eat 75 burgers? No. It don't teach us that, brothers and sisters. Look at the scriptures we're reading. Restraint. Uh, all things are lawful, not expedient. Refrain yourself. Do things in moderation, right? Let your moderation be known, right? Okay, listen to what he's saying here. Read. If thou givest thy soul the desire. Right, because if you give your soul over to those desires, a lot of sisters, a lot of brothers want to know why they're depressed. I got to get the ice cream because that's the drug. Right, right. He was like, listen, we put crack, dope, AIDS, uh, uh, weed in their community. These niggas will not die. So what do we got to do now? We got to get their food. We got to get their food. We got to put bad food in all their communities. Mm. You know what I mean? And when you do get the Walmarts, you know, it's like the Walmarts in the hood got the worst foods. It's like the garbage foods. Like it, the, your tomatoes ain't as crispy and, and, and clean as the tomatoes at the Kroger up in Sugarland. Right, right. They're all beaten down and trodden. <laughs> right, <laughs> like right. somebody picked them out the trash can. Brothers and sisters, awake. Yeah. This is not this is not a conspiracy theory. This is not this is fact. You understand? And I like how you brought that out. Psalms 83. The most high said it. Uh, this this is 
them once again using a different perspective to destroy us. Right, right. A different aspect of life to destroy us. Yeah. Right, on top of the, all the other things. What you got? Uh, if this was uh, Colossians chapter uh, 2 and verse 21. Because uh -huh. this is in, in respect of like, if you can't even control yourself in that moderation. Right. It says, it says touch not, taste not, handle not. Right. So if you, don't, if you can't even, if you're not even... Well, strong enough to, to have that moderation, you shouldn't even put yourself in that predicament to even touch it. There you, there you right. go. You shouldn't and, even deal with it. And this is not even, um, you know what I like about that? I, because people don't think this is in the Bible. Right. They don't think control is in the Bible. <laughs> That's why I said when this guy's talking about, oh, Israelites teach that uh, the, the Savior is going to come so you don't care about your bodies. Like, where the hell are you learning that? That's that must be in the Quran because it ain't in here. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's telling us <laughs> refrain thyself. <laughs> Very good point, Ari. Go ahead, finish that. Uh, verse. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus 18, verse 31. Uh huh. If thou givest thy soul to the desire right. that please her, uh huh, she will make thee a laughing stock to thy enemy. And, and this is what the Most High is re reminding us that yeah. when all the nations look at us, who is the overweight? Mm -hmm. Why do you think all the black? Uh, majority of the black and Hispanic women are overweight. Right. Mm. Oh, Native Americans suffer from diabetes uh, just about just as much as black people, and we suffer for that more than anybody else. Wow. Yeah. It, wow. Uh, this, All like the, the tribes of Israel. Yeah. All Israel. Right. Yeah, that's Why? what's aimed at. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put <laughs> all of that in their communities. You right. said what? I uh, said so that's what it's aimed at. It's yeah. aimed at those people. Right. You know, you, you go to the reservations, they're eating out of those little black and white covered containers and all that stuff got everything, every chemical that we naming right here. You know what I mean? Uh, there's, uh, there's some of this list is uh, Americans are now eating five times more food died than in 1955. Wow. Food, food, food die. die. Right. Wow. Uh, many parents have observed their child's behavior improve drastically when taking off food dyes, especially red number 40. Because of this widespread anecdotal evidence, the editors of uh, a special education degree decided to do an investigative report. So all these these dyes, uh, brilliant blue, indigo carmine, citrus red, green number three, red number 40, these all have health problems. Wow. They all give health problems. And the thing is, is I wanted to grab this scripture if yes, I say real quick. Yes, the Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1. He says, uh, yeah, go to go to wisdom of Solomon. And right after that, we're going to go to Ecclesiastes 30. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse 14, mm -hmm. one in verse 14, Started 13, verse 13. For God made not death. The most high didn't make death. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't make that for, for he, what's go. the point? You know, what I mean, I'm going to make something so it could be destroyed. Right. Oh. Read on. Neither has he pleasure in the destruction of the living. Right. He doesn't want you to destroy yourself. Right. Right. <laughs> go ahead. Verse 14, for he created all things that they might have their be right. being. Right, you were created to exist, yeah. to keep going, to keep living. Go ahead. And the generations of the world were healthful. Were what? Healthful. Right, the generations of the world were healthful. That word right. were is the big key point. Now you got Monsanto, everything, seedless wow. oranges, seedless grapes, seedless watermelon. Now nothing has seeds in it, you know right. what I mean? So Because it's all genetically modified. There you go, right? Now everything, you bite into an apple, it's got a layer of wax on the outside with the pesticides on it. Mm. And the inside, the wax preserved the aging process. So wow. you eating a year old apple, but it looks red. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, now they're making, now, now they're making fake apples, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Straight from the, <laughs> straight from the farm. Right. We're going to be eating 3D color printed apples now. <laughs> see the $1,000, uh, it might have been cheaper, but it was like a $500 burger they they created in a Petri dish. And yeah. they're selling this for five, like, wow, you created it and you're charging 500 I think it's like 500 bucks yeah. or something like that uh, for this burger. Yeah, it was, a hundred, I think it was 100000 to make it. Uh, the feces oh, it's burger. more than that? Talking about the feces burger in Japan? Uh, it's one of those damn burgers yeah, they, they created in a Petri. Synthesized the proteins from the feces and the sewage. In wow. Japan. Okay. And, and We're going to have to throw that up there. <laughs> right. I want that. <laughs> the world's first test tube burger has been unveiled. It's made of the cow cells. It's beef as we know it. Um, but we enhance the color with uh, red beet juice. It's not yet cheap or created easily. It has cost £250,000 to make and five years of research and production up until this day. I want that one. I all right. right. Uh, but yeah, th this is the this is what the scripture is showing is that the the generations of the word were healthful. The things right. you used to eat keep you alive for six, seven hundred years. Right. And now what? Now what do we got? No. Nah.
You know what I mean? You eating Little Debbie's 89 cents for 24 of them. Right, You right. know what I mean? And then you go to get an apple, and it costs you $2. Right. Well, which one are you going to eat when you own government and, checks? And brothers and sisters, you're feeding your kids this. Yeah. They're yeah. feeding their kids these things. Yeah. yeah. They don't give them a chance. Yeah, they're not, they're not getting to live. Yeah, l listen, we only got uh, about 10 more minutes left. I want you to read Ecclesiastes 8. Uh, did you finish that? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm finished with that. But, you know, um, just on that, what you just said, okay. they're killing the kids. This is a replacement for the love because there you, you see that little smile on your kid's face because those uh, those trans fats and the fructose and all that make wow. them all happy and giddy. Right. And you're thinking, oh, I'm pleasing my kid. And you're and killing them. Yeah, and they, yeah, they get addicted to it. And you think they're coming to you because they love you. No, they're they're hooked. They're yeah. crack at they're it. They're hooked. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't love you. They just want the next hit. <laughs> wow, wow, brother, that's that's cold. Ecclesiastes 30, verse 14. 30 and verse 14. And then you're going to go into the meat after this, Tahawam. Okay. Go ahead. Better is the poor. R right. Being sound and strong. Yeah, you know, because a lot of brothers and sisters, you know, that don't have it, you know, right. and don't have the resources, right? A lot of people think, well, I'm broke. I can't live healthy. Yes, you can. Right, right. Listen, yes, you can, because when you start eating good, guess what? You don't need a lot of food to fill you up. It's actually easier that way. Right. But, you know, uh, as, as we, you know, give a little information and try to change brothers and sisters' health habits here and there, the first thing they're saying, well, it costs money. No, it don't. Right. It's cheaper for a salad than for you. Listen, if you get a number two from Whataburger, it is about nine bucks, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> large is $12. <laughs> a large is $12. <laughs> so with that $12, you can go buy you. I can go buy me some beets, some kale. Mm. I can go buy me, uh, uh, you know what I mean, some apple juice to throw in to, to juice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And still have a few dollars to left over. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? But it's all how you look at things, you know? Right, right. Go ahead. Uh, of constitution. Right. Then a rich man. Then a, then, he is better. For that poor man, right, go ahead to be in that, that, that lowest state, then a rich man, this man that has all this money, go ahead. That is afflicted in his body. Yeah, that is afflicted in his body. Right. And this is what brothers and sisters don't understand. Like, I can do what I want. I can eat what I want. Brother, you can't judge me. No, we're not. This is not for judging. You know what I mean? You keep destroying yourself. We're giving wisdom to the brothers and sisters that understand that the wisdom of the knowledge of the Most High brings forth immortality. Mm -hmm. And this is that right what you were saying. It goes right with that Genesis, the third chapter we've been going over in class. It's like the wisdom of the Most High is immortality. This Bible is the tree of life. Right. Everybody wants to search the quasars. It's right here. Right. It's right here. <laughs> let, let me finish, though. Go ahead. Read on. Oh, verse 15. Uh-huh. Health and good estate of body are above all gold. Wait, wait a minute. No, it's about the paper. It's about the money. Health and good estate of body uh -huh. are above are above all gold. Right. So you're sitting there eating the crabs and eating the lobster, thinking like, yeah, I, I'm paid. I got to eat. <laughs> that's why, you know what? You're, uh, you're, uh, what is it? That, the, the prostate. That's why your prostate, the men has to check their prostate. Another why? thing that Judite men, black American men suffer from most more than any other race. There you go. Prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. All that, all that, all that uh, chitlins are you eating the pig's a-hole and it's coming out of yours. Wow. And rubbing up and messing up your lining and messing up your intestines. And now you got cancer. Right. <laughs> this is what the Bible teaches about health. Right. For anybody that thought that it wasn't here. Read. In a strong body above infinite wealth. Check that out. And that's what we're trying to create. We're trying to instill in our brothers and sisters and our children's children, children, the wisdom to live, to do their purpose for Christ, do their purpose for the Most High. You can't be a sick Israelite uh, if you're drinking yourself into oblivion or eating yourself into the hill, to the bottom of the dirt. And how are you going to street speak? How are you going to go pass out flyers? How are you going to teach class? Right. You know, I, I look at my elders, you know what I mean? You look at brothers, they're 48, almost 50 years old, still able to run it up and down the court. And I'm thinking like, okay, that's what I aspire to. I'm not going to, I'm an elder at 30, 40 years old. You, you're retiring at 40? Why? Because you can't function. You didn't use the wisdom right. to take care of your body, your mind, and your spirit. Go ahead. Verse 16. Uh-huh. There is no riches above a sound body. Yeah, brothers and sisters, above all, you need to look at taking care of your body. You can't serve the most high if you destroy your temple. He can't dwell in you. 
That's why he said, I'm not the God of, of the dead, but of the living. Right. You're walking around like a zombie, you know what I mean? Because you can't function. Right. And that's the thing. You got ill. You're, you're ill. You're sick. Well, take control of yourself. You know, a lot of people want to know, well, how, uh, what did Christ do? What did Christ do? How did he tap into the spirit? We tell him one thing. Fast. Fast and prayer. That's Fast it. and prayer. You know, res restrain the body mm -hmm. and strain the body from its lust and its desire, brother, you'll get healthy quick as hell. Do a 40-day fast and nothing but juices. Mm -hmm. You want to see how that you, everything you, the burger. I, I was pouring uh, some water in the, I, I try. I attempted to use sink water to boil noodles for my children. Mm. And I can actually smell the fluoride, the the whatever the, the hell they put in there. I was like, right. I dumped that out, man. I got the other water, you know what I mean, which is a little better. You know what I mean? You can smell it. You start smelling it in the meat. Yeah. Um, you know, when I do my little uh, binge, you know what I mean, I try to step outside of my diet, I taste a slice of pizza, and the pizza tastes like paper. It's like you start to see, okay, this is not real food. Right. This is killing you. Right. You know what I mean? And, and it pulls you further away from eating that way. Yeah. You know, uh, go ahead and finish that. It says, there are no... There is no riches above a sound body, right? And no joy above a joy, but above a joy of the heart. Right now, uh, go ahead, read on. Death is bitter than a bitter life. Death is better than a bitter life. Mm, correct. Like if you're sick, you're sitting now, you're, you know, you can't function no more. You got arthritis. You got your knees hurt, your ankles hurt, right. your head hurts. You you got you're sick all the time, brother. It's death is better than that. No. This is why the Most High is saying, take care of yourself, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. Or continual sickness. Yeah, continual sickness. Go ahead, Taha oh, okay. uh, I want you to get three minutes of that, and then we're going to go to Ecclesiastes 1, verse 19. Go ahead, Taha uh, This is an article that says, does the sodium nitrate in processed meat increase my risk of heart disease? Mm -hmm. If you go buy a piece of processed meat, like a sandwich meat, for example, at the grocery store, it may have been on that shelf for three or four weeks. It should be gray. People wouldn't buy it. They'd be sickened by it. So they use a chemical called sodium nitrite or sodium nitrate. This chemical, the USDA tried to ban this chemical in the 1970s. They were unsuccessful because of food industry lobbyists. It's still legal. And by the way, it causes cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, sodium nitrate, a preservative that's used in some processed meats, uh -huh. such as bacon, jerky, and luncheon meats, could increase your heart disease risk. Uh, it says it's thought that sodium nitrate may damage your blood vessels, making your arteries more likely to harden and narrow, leading to heart disease. Nitrates may also affect the way your body uses sugar, making you more likely to develop diabetes. Right. See, look at all these studies, man. Look at all these things they've already came out with. Red meat. It's an American diet staple from burgers to spaghetti sauce to a medium rare steak. However, newly published research in BMJ indicates higher red meat consumption in early adulthood could cause a greater risk of breast cancer. In 1991, 88,803 premenopausal women took a questionnaire on their diet. Researchers did 20 years of follow-up and recorded 2,830 cases of breast cancer. 20 years later, statistics found high red meat consumption was associated with a 22% increased risk of breast cancer. But they've already proven, right? And, and that's how the devil is. The devil, the devil, they're, they're warring against themselves. Right. This kingdom right. is warring against themselves. So, and people are waking up. White people are waking up that you're killing us. Right. And they're fed up with it. Go ahead. Um, it says, uh, and you already know that the most, that most processed meats are high in sodium and some are high in saturated fat, which can disrupt a heart healthy diet. Now, I got to interject here. Yeah. Cows eat grass. Right. There's not a lot of sodium in grass. Right. Why the hell does your meat on the shelf have a bunch of sodium nitrate in it. There you go. They don't eat those because things. they're they're trying to preserve it. They want to you make know, it look good. Yeah, they want right. it to look good. They want it to not not when you walk up to it, it's all brown, right? Right, right. And that's the thing. Your meat should naturally be that way. It right. says if you eat meat, it's best to limit processed meat and instead choose lean, fresh meat and poultry. Uh, okay, let me let me go into this. We got four minutes. Right. I want you to read Ecclesiastes thirty seven verse twenty seven. Read that. Thirty seven and verse twenty seven. My uh -huh. son my son. Prove thy soul in thy life, and see what is evil for it, uh -huh. and give not that unto it. And this is what we're saying. This is what the scriptures are saying. Yeah, look what's bad for it. L yeah, there you go. <laughs> right, that's it. Just look at the articles. Look, there you look, go. That's bad for it. Look you. at the information. This is not... 
Christ is not telling us, yeah, you can eat everything that's going to kill you. Right. He don't want that. Right. Go ahead. Uh, verse 28. Uh-huh. For all things are not profitable for all men. Especially sodium carbon. Car Carbonate, peroxide, monoxide, <laughs> <laughs> right? Go yeah. ahead. Neither have every soul pleasure in everything. Right, read on. Be not unstable. Unsatiable. Unsatiable uh -huh. in any dainty thing. Read. Nor too greedy upon meat. Nor too what? Greedy upon meat. And this is good meat. This is meats that we ate back then that was good. Now imagine how much more the Spirit is ex telling us about these bad foods. You have to think about that. Read on. Verse 30. Uh -huh. For excess of meats bringeth sickness. Read. And suffering Re will... And su 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 suffering... Suffering. Uh -huh. Will turn into chlor. Into choler. And choler. The suffering... Um, Basically, you're eating a lot. You, you taste You want to get into everything. Right. I want to eat everything. Everything that's on the plate, I'm eating it. Right. Exactly. Right. There's no, there's no uh, moderation. Right. There's no moderation. And I'm going to read it right now. This is Ecclesiastes 39, verse 29, 33, excuse me, Ecclesiastes 33, verse 29. But be not excessive toward any and without discretion, do nothing. Mm. And this is what he's saying, right. that you eating all these meats and you want to know why you can't sleep. Right. You know what I mean? You eating all these processed foods, you want to know why you can't sleep, why you can't function, why your mind ain't clear. Right. Because it's bad for you. Right. Read on. Let's finish this up. Uh, verse uh, 31. Uh huh. By suffering, ha, uh, by by suffering. Suffering. Go ahead. Have many perish. Read. But he that taketh heed. He that what? Taketh heed. He that what? Taketh heed. If you listen to these scriptures, go ahead. Prolongeth his life. There you go. And that's what our job. That's what we're trying to do is prolong the life of brothers and sisters and healthy and get them healthy so they can last till Christ come back. Right. You don't have to die. Right. You know what I mean? So we shall not all sleep. There you go. We shall all be changed. There you go. I got one. Uh, it's uh, Proverbs chapter 2 and 11. It said, discretion shall preserve thee, uh -huh. and understanding shall keep thee. Right. There you go. So uh, that's it. All right. Oh, we're yeah, that, that, that's it on that. You know, we got a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to remind brothers and sisters, especially the ones that, oh, everything's lawful for me. I can eat everything. Deuteronomy 32, 15 was a big problem with us. Right. Yeshua and waxed fat and kicked. There you go. We, we got grown over with fatness. You know what I mean? That, that was our problem. Mm -hmm. And this is what part of our downfall is. is it messes with your mind. It takes you off the scriptures. It takes you out of that positive mindset. Right, right. But, uh, brothers and sisters, we thank you all for joining us. Uh, join us every week, Tuesdays.